extending Wi-Fi around the home with the help of the coax cable that's already there. You've already got a lot of that stuff in your house. Been there forever. Well, that's one of the solutions our next guest is continuing to work on and present to us, Vice President of Marketing and Member Relations with MOCA, the Multimedia Over Coax Alliance, is Rob Gelfman. Rob, welcome back into tomorrow. How you doing? Very good, thank you. Pleasure to have you back because there's always new stuff happening in this whole realm. And when you talk to people that say, I'm just not getting good Wi-Fi and I've got to deal with connections around the house. At, well, but do you have uh, cable TV or have you had an antenna installed over the years and you have coax running all around the house? You know, there's a solution there. Tell us about that. Well, Mocha runs over the coax, like you say, already in the house. And it is normally associated with television and video. Right. But really what people are using it now for is to extend their internet everywhere. So wireless wi or Wi-Fi everywhere is, is now the requirement. Um, it is not a luxury. It's, a, it's mandatory. Oh, of course, yeah. For all the reasons, including the goofy name of the Internet of Things. <laughs> well, uh, as weird as it is, it is. And IoT is everywhere and more and more of it in our homes, certainly. You need to have connectivity. Security is, is probably the prime example of that. So it's not a matter of, like you say, of convenience or, yeah, it'd be nice to have this connected. It has to be connected. Well, you actually, a uh, great segue because as all That's why these. I get the big bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As you connect everything on the IoT, as well as numerous other devices, portable devices, so forth, wirelessly, you actually have the wireless network is always on, so you're constantly sucking bandwidth. Yeah. And now there's this new thing called, and here's my new uh, warning, yeah. <laughs> um, is this thing called Wi-Fi Mesh, which is like this shiny new object. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see a lot of new products, including here at the show, and it is an improvement but what people aren't realizing yet is that you actually could see a degradation in performance and the latencies will actually could be slower hmm. or, or higher, er, more accurately, because you're going to see hops to numerous devices right. as opposed to going through a router. Well, again, you got more stuff sucking up bandwidth that maybe you're wondering why perhaps security cameras are, are a little delayed. Uh, you know, you're not seeing it in real time. Well, you got to look at increasing that bandwidth. A absolutely. Now, the thing is, especially with video, you've seen a lot of virtual reality. You're seeing HDR. You, you know, gaming is uh, gets hotter and hotter. Um, a latency, any kind of a hesitancy, a stream of, of a movie over a Netflix or yeah. a Hulu and so forth, unacceptable. Mm. You want to do all of those on numerous devices, even with a mesh network, and by the way... And what do you mean by a mesh network? Well, so folks uh, get that. Effectively, it's putting an AP in, in very late terms. It's putting your AP in numerous places. In, your AP around being the, your access, access point. points, right, okay. for Wi-Fi. Okay. And it's, it's not, however, a technology. It's really more of a methodology or an architecture. And people don't realize, A, it's not certifiable. There is no interoperability among products. If you buy a Google, it doesn't work with one of the others. Mm. The first round may not matter, but when you look to upgrade or take advantage of a sale, you'll find you're locked into that vendor. So now we have all these problems, so is Mocha a solution? Is this, is this how we're solving these issues? Absolutely. We advocate using Wi-Fi mesh. We also advocate don't use Wi-Fi mesh exclusively. Hmm. Use a Mocha extender or a wireless extender, which will use the coax, no new wiring. Mm -hmm. Basically, virtually unlimited bandwidth. So basically, now, let's see if I get this right. We're, we're putting a, a Mocha access point somewhere along the, in, along the line connected to our coax, which is not interfering now with whatever the coax is carrying, right? Our, our cable TV, our satellite dish, whatever. And then elsewhere, we're able, it, it's helping to extend by its, itself the Wi-Fi? Yeah, I mean, actually, all that's also what you just mentioned is probably running over Mocha as well. But for instance, uh, you're taking the signal into the set-top or gateway into your living room, and you want to send uh, a signal to your, uh, your bedroom, and it's upstairs in the far corner. Why not have the signal travel over the coax, 
and then offload via wireless extender into uh, wirelessly, and you yeah. can use it and, and catch the signal on your portable device. So, 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 I get to, so to get the end-to-end -end picture, am I then in this far bedroom upstairs, uh, disconnecting initially the TV, for example, and putting in sort of a splitter, and then saying, "Here's an access point now for my Wi-Fi," and then putting the cable back, or no, no, you real just, quick because we're running out of time. Yeah, yeah, I but, understand. But, so just, I just want our audience to understand right. Mocha and how it how right. it happens. You're just basically installing the adapter, and you're connecting uh -huh. in uh, an Ethernet in, and 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 coax out. Excellent. So it's, it really is that easy. Then. It's really that easy. Go to Amazon.com, type in Mocha adapter. You'll see numerous I was devices say, a available. A lot of manufacturers making these things, so they're getting the big picture and helping us get our Wi-Fi. Yeah, there's something else you consider. Uh, the, the operators are very concerned about Wi-Fi mesh. Bring your own device, but they're going to get the call when the wireless doesn't work. Yeah. If it doesn't work well enough for the operator, why should it work? Why should that be good enough for the consumer? So they're going to the consumer, but the operator's not necessarily thrilled with this. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Operator being like my Concast cable. Mm -hmm. uh, to too bad. I'm so sad for them, right? Yeah. MochaAlliance.org for more information. Of course, we'll link you to that site. You'll see what Rob and his team are up to on a regular basis. But check out uh, how extending Wi-Fi around your home or office or warehouse or whatever the case uh, can make a big difference and how this can help you tremendously. MochaAlliance.org. They're the folks that get it all together and help the other manufacturers say, here's the products that you should be utilizing. That works out well. Thank you, Rob, for joining us again at CES. Thank you, Dave. We're back with more as I continue bringing you further into tomorrow from CES 2017. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. Don't go away.